Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the A3 Review. In this episode, we are going to do a review of the R13 Spartan from Mastermind Creations. And then afterwards, we're going to compare big guys. That would be the Feral Rex and the new Neural Rex. And we're going to see which one we like. So my name's Alex. I'm Boris. And you're watching the, the A3, A3 Review. review. MMC Extravaganza. So what we have right in front of us is the Mastermind Creations reformatted R13 Spartan. So just a few tidbits about him. Uh, obviously, those of you who are big fans know who it is. Uh, uh, it comes from the IDW comics, of course. Um, uh, it's Impactor. Mm -hmm. And he was an ex-leader of the Wreckers. And so this figure pays homage to that uh, figure, though not actually from IDW or affiliated in, in any way to Hasbro. First off, did you like the Wreckers? I love the Wreckers story. I think it, it's amazing. I'll be completely honest. I did not follow any of the IDW comics, but I'll tell you that even having no knowledge of the origins of this character or the homage of this character, this looks like a great toy. I mean, this looks like a great, you know, robot. It's yeah. fantastic. Well, in the story, he's a very formidable leader. Yeah. Um, and of course, you know, Springer. Springer yeah. is yeah. actually supposed to be- The leader of the Wreckers, right? Uh, well, yes. Yeah. He takes his place. Mm, okay. So he, that's why he's the ex-leader of the Wreckers. Yeah. Which is why he's got this aesthetic. He's got a lot of, you know, uh, armory with him. Uh, he's got the nice shoulder cannon. He's built like a Wrecker. He's fully loaded. Uh, you know, he looks like a Spartan. So he's, like, he's very armored. Um, and basically, uh, the actual toy is no different. It comes with some cool uh, accessories. So, you know, instead of a hand, which you can still put the hand in. It comes yeah. with an extra hand. Yeah. I like it with the armory anyways. Yeah. I don't think That's I'm gonna cool. put a second hand on him. Yeah, so this is just like interchangeable pieces to put the um, drill in as well. Yeah. I like the drill. Yeah. I also like this, uh, this shoulder cannon. Yeah, it looks really good. It's uh, it articulates. It also pops off. You could probably use it as a gun. Yeah. Awesome place for you to put it on both shoulders. Although classically, I believe it's on the right shoulder, and it is the fish hook weapon that he uses a lot. Yeah. It definitely gives you that armored wreckers uh, feeling. I mean, this whole series, all of those wreckers, kind of have that uh, very heavy armored feel, which is what I love in a bot myself. Coloring wise, what do you think about the coloring? I mean, um, <laughs> it for, reminds for me of Blitzwing. <laughs> yeah? uh, but I, I like this combination. You got the purple, you got this mustard color, and this, this light beige, and I think it goes really, really well together. So I have no complaints there. And the, the, yeah, the silver go parts go scheme. well too. Yeah, can't go wrong with the scheme. And just some really nice articulation in the legs. Oh, I, I love I the articulation. You, it's 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 a little tight on the joints here, but um, I think it it's it's fine because it really actually helps to pose it. It's yeah. not so tight that you feel like you're gonna break it. No. But just tight enough so that you're getting like some really good action poses without the compromise of these flimsy floppies uh, going on. The foot itself has like you know, some articulation in the toes. I think it makes for a very good, solid and sturdy figure because the, the legs are kind of big, right? Mm -hmm. But I think it 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 works. And the way the, the feet are so big allows it to stand really, really well. I mean, look at this. Yeah. You can the, put a lot of good poses in, with, with these kind of uh, feet. Yeah, that's right. The feet has the nice little ball joints on right? them. And then just in general, the legs have some good articulation, and it's good because it shows off the great detail. Oh, it has here. really good detail. Uh, I love the On little the treads. treads here. Yeah. Uh, they really help to break up the legs as well as give it this very industrial, like, you know, armored vehicle feel. Yeah, I particularly like the, the way they did hands. Like, look at that. It, mm -hmm. It's a little, uh, like, a, is it a ball joint or something? Yeah, it's actually set yeah. on a ball joint. Yeah. Uh, even though that you can pull off the hands, yeah. the actual... Yeah, uh, that, that piece right there, it's like a, like a ball joint socket. Yep, that's right. Exactly it. So you don't have to actually pull out any ball joints. Yeah. Um, which is smart because 
there's a little bit less wear on the um, ball joints itself. Mm -hmm. That gives it a lot more articulation mm -hmm. uh, right here in the front part of the forearm, which is great because then you can do poses like the famous, you know, across the face pose. Yeah, I, I think it's a really well articulated mm. figure. You could do a lot of stuff with it. I mean, you don't have to worry about it toppling over. Very, very solid. And the arms are really well articulated. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way they handled the whole design of this guy. Yeah, and not a lot of kibble around here. Yeah. The back looks good. It's not like a huge backpack or anything. No, no, not at all. Um, yeah, so really awesome. Let's get it into uh, vehicle mode and see how he compares. So here is the Spartan in the tank mode. And this is a funny looking tank. It's got shovels in front of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, uh, you know, in case he has to dig up any like bunkers or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, for a sci-fi tank, I think it's a pretty tight looking vehicle. Mm -hmm. Like there's, there's not like all these weird parts all over the place. It's very, very solid looking. Yeah, it's very compact. Yeah, it is. That's right. It's very compact. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, the cannon, you know, moves up and down so you can actually shoot things with it. Yeah, he's, he has like anti-air, right? Uh, side, I guess, sort of. No, not really too much side Oh, that's, side movement. yeah. It's because of it's, these little, yeah, like, these piston pistons, things. Yeah, it's limited. It's really not a bad looking uh, uh, vehicle mode, actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's just limited in how you what you can do with it. I mean, you know, just the, the movement here and the treads don't work, so. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I don't think I would be putting it in this mode a whole lot. Me neither. The actual transformation was pretty cool. Like it's it's very it's actually very complex <laughs> for those of you who like that. You do have to tab everything exactly right. Mm -hmm. And make sure like I tried to go about it without following the instructions too much, but you kind of have to check out the instructions for a couple parts. Yeah. Cuz there's a lot of things that kind of have to swivel it's very like mastermind. Yeah. Like a lot of things have to swivel right into the right position. Otherwise you're gonna find how come this thing is not like it's not flush. It's right? not flush yeah. or it's not like pegging together. Yeah. It's yeah. bouncing out. Yeah. Um, you can get really frustrated, so read the instructions, follow the little bar parts. Uh, I do have a little bit of a beef with instructions, like some things are missed. Mm -hmm. Um but if you're careful you'll kind of catch what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, just don't be all like gung-ho and like start like manhandling yeah. or anything, right? Um, it's pretty durable in that sense though, like you're not gonna break it. I didn't find any parts where I was like scared or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then because of the tightness of the legs and whatnot, I yeah. think uh, some of the parts that you had to swivel in the right spot, they're not obvious because you're like, oh, it's what is going on here. Yeah. It's a little tight, doesn't even feel like it moves, but there are a lot of parts that are like that. So, I mean, other than that, it's it was a good transformation. Like, there's a lot of smart things that were done mm -hmm. in the transformation that I really love. It really is complex. I like the fact that they introduce a lot of uh, new elements into the transformations. It's not one of those things where you can just figure out yourself unless you're like an engineer or something like that. You gotta look at the, the, the uh, instructions and I, I mean, it took it took a while to get it from robot mode to, to to the tank mode. But I guess over the course of time, when you do it more and more, you, you'll get better at it. But um, besides the crazy transformation, the tank is good. The tank looks good. I like that it turns into this, and it's good looking um, alt mode. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the same highlights that you can see on the robot. Yeah. Um, or the bot mode is uh, yeah, it's it's evident here. Yeah. Um, all right, well, let's give it a review. So let's give this guy a score. For aesthetic, I'm gonna give it a nine. It's a great looking robot. From robot mode, to alt mode, to the paint job, to the way you can pose him. Very, very good looking. Deserves top scores. Nine for me. I would agree. Nine, all the same points. Really well finished up. Really nicely polished. Uh, really great figure. Had a lot of uh, fun looking at it. For playability, I'm gonna give it an eight. I love the articulation on the robot mode. You could do a lot of stuff with him. As for the alt mode, you really can't do a whole lot, so I won't be playing him, I mean, playing with him in the alt mode a lot. The transformation was a little bit complex and complicated. I'm gonna keep him in the robot mode and I'm gonna do a lot with him. 
8 out of 10 for me. I'm going to say 8 out of 10 as well. I agree with Alex on some of the points. I didn't think of it as harshly, uh, I think, as a knock to it. However, um, you know, it does come with some accessories. I guess that adds to its playability. For innovation, I'm going to give it a 7.5. It is a pretty fresh take on a character that we know a lot about. Uh, but um, it's not really original. Uh, but there are some really neat things that they did with it that I've never seen on other figures. Also, the transformation is unlike anything that I've seen before. It's really quite complex. <laughs> um, but um, I think that for what they put into it, um, it deserves a seven and a half. I'm gonna give it eight. I felt like it did, did pay homage uh, very well. Uh, but, you know, that doesn't leave a whole lot of room for uh, innovation on the design aspect. Though they did fill out a lot of the design cues um, really nicely on the toy. Um, in terms of the complexity of the transformation, it wasn't only complex, it did have a lot of clever bits in there. And I think for me, that added to its innovation, so I'm going to give it an 8. So my overall score is a 8.17. And my overall score is at 8.33, which means that you definitely should be keeping an eye on this figure. And I would really recommend that if you got the cash, you should pick it up. I think this is a great figure. You're definitely gonna want to get this as soon as you can. It's gonna sell out of the shelves very, very fast. Yeah, so, it's, it's already been moving actually really, really quickly. There you go. Yeah. So add it to your collection as soon as possible. And yes. <laughs> And that is our review. <laughs> that is our review, yes. That's our review of the Mastermind Creations reformatted R13 Spartan, the Demolition Commander. We have two really big dudes in front of us. We got two versions of Feral Rex. We got the Nero Rex. That would be this one. And we got the Feral Rex with the extra fella saber add-on. That would be limb. this chunk right here. So it's not like a direct comparison because a direct comparison would be him with yeah. the, fer uh, the fella uh, saber yeah, yeah. limb on it. Yeah. But uh, you know, I think Nero Rex does just fine without the extra bulk. I think all the third party fans, you know, they know what we're talking about. The thing with this comparison <laughs> is right off the bat, there's not much to say except Man, there's a black version versus the original. Like yeah. the contrast is so huge. So we're yeah. not gonna talk about too much about the color, except yeah. that I do really love the black and the purple scheme. All this metallic purple really works with this figure and it makes it look just awesome. Yeah. And there's just this kind of like silvery, metallic-y, bluish, bluish silver thing going on here. Yeah. Really nice, right? Absolutely, 100% agree. I mean, this is all about nostalgia. I mean, this mm -hmm. is the original, but this is something almost like entirely different. This is like a stealth version, and Mastermind Creations, they picked the right colors to go with the black. The whole thing just works. But one thing I, I want to really mention is that when you look at this guy, it almost looks like they made the, the individual arms and legs first, and they, they decided to, um, put them in these colors first be before they decide to put it together. With this, everything's more uniform. Everything's more, um, it's got a sense of symmetry in terms of the color. Like, for example, uh, if you look at the, the legs here, like, it's all black and gray in the right places. Like, evenly distribution, right? Even distribution of that. Here, it's just like the yellow and red, it's just wherever it want it, it's, you know, they're, they're gonna put it, just based on the, the character's color mm -hmm. design, right? Which is, I guess, the luxury of having, doing it uh, all at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I will have to say, I mean, nostalgia-wise, that's how the old um, G1... That's how it looked. Uh, ...was. It didn't exactly have everything harmonious. Yeah. But it was great. And honestly, if you didn't have the Fella Saber on here, yeah. it would have a little bit more of the, uh, at least the color. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sy synergy yeah. happening. Uh, with the yellow arm, it's meant to kind of look a little bit more off. But, you know, all in all, like, it's what you said. The nostalgia crowd is going to go and look at this and say, well, that's, that's the Predaking I want. Yeah. Uh, there was never really a black, obviously, stealth Predaking yeah. or anything yeah. like that. But I think it looks amazing in black. What would I choose? I don't, I mean, what would you choose? 
Oh man, such a tough decision because... You can only have one. Yeah. What would you have? <laughs> very, very good question. I'm gonna go with... You know what? Nothing beats original. Nothing beats the original. I, like, you yeah. can put all the nicest repaints you can do with this and still at the end of the day, this is still the one that you know, I know and, and love from back in the day. So uh, this to me looks great, but it's still a repaint. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, what I have to yeah, say. I'm, I'm going to have to say that I would personally go for the original color because that's kind of for me, I, that's what I want in my collection. Um, but he makes it really tempting to actually oh, yeah. want to. I almost feel like people who would buy this already have this <laughs> because you have yeah. to have the original. Yeah, you, you kind of do, yeah. and uh, for me, it's it's definitely it's a tough call to not want to buy two. But obviously, that's some crazy talk. It is all very expensive. <laughs> yeah, it is crazy talk. You're talking about a thousand dollars plus ver worth of um, combiners. Yeah. Um, but I mean, this is a great testament to uh, you know the decisions that Mastermind is making. They're actually making it very tough to choose yeah. uh, some of the products yeah. now because they, they all are very nice. Um, but, you know, I will have to say that, like, even though the black looks great, a lot of the coloring uh, that goes into the regular Feral Rex, like, there are a lot of cool decisions made on this. Mm -hmm. uh, and having to work with all the different colors of oranges, having all these highlighted parts that are slightly different, uh, whereas here, it's a it's a very general theme. It it has a lot of silvers, uh, and the same metallic purple that's throughout. Yeah. Uh, all those colors are kind of used throughout. Um, there's not much of a break in that. Yeah. Whereas you take a look at something like uh, the Feral Rex, mm -hmm. and there's like silvers that kind of break up some of the yeah. uh, monotony of the yellow and oranges. Uh, then there's the black that comes into contrast. Uh, then they're using, you know, the red and the orange and the uh, yellow colors to really anchor a lot of these pieces. Um, so I think when you have all of those elements in it, it, this was actually, to me, probably a bigger challenge. Yeah. To figure out the right colors and yeah, everything. Yeah. And I think all in all, um, having said that, like, this one came out great, mm -hmm. which is why I kind of, you know, I do respect this one a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Like you said, this is um, a very nice repaint, but it yeah. is a repaint. Yeah. They had to really think when it came to this one. For sure. Uh, one thing to note, though, is that if you did uh, purchase the Nero Rex or are thinking about getting a Nero Rex, the nice thing that Mastermind has done is this comes with everything possible for the uh, Feral Rex. So it came with all the swords, ah, yeah. all the completion kit comes mm -hmm. with it too because yeah. uh, previously you had to actually buy the fellow saber i yeah. don't know if uh, all the fans here know you had to buy the sixth limb to get all the extra little goodies that yeah. come for ferrox so some people almost bought it just so that they could have that like the rubberized feet ah uh, yes this all included complete and, yeah it even comes with the king's claws accessory which a lot of people wanted um right in the box and it actually looks really cool on uh, this mode uh so that is a nice little bonus mm -hmm. you don't have to buy a black fella saber as well <laughs> to get all those pieces yeah otherwise you know both great products both of them are good yeah uh but comparison wise i mean it it really is night and day so it really comes down to are you an homage kind of guy or do you just have uh awesome collection of stealth black robots. Yeah. If you do, this will fit right into your black repaint. Yeah, maybe collection. you're already a fan of this and you already have this and you want to bring something fresh to your shelf. So this would be it. Yeah, really hard to say no. So, you know, I thought I'd put them side by side so people could really kind of take a look and, and say, well, which one do I really want to have? For those that don't have unlimited income, and it's hard enough just to get one piece. Yep. Right. Um, yeah, so there that's, you have it. That's our comparison of the Mastermind Creations Feral Rex with the Neural Rex. And that's our episode for today. We hope you enjoyed it. 
And as usual, we want to hear your comments on what you thought of the episode today. Did you like the comparison of the Nero Rex versus the Feral Rex? Would you buy both? Would you buy one or the other? You tell us. That's right. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, let us know in the comments section below. And you can hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, Ages 3 and Up, and also follow us on Twitter at Ages 3 and Up. We'll see you next week, or see in you. two weeks from now. Yeah, and braid Two weeks my hair. from now. Braid my hair. Yeah. <laughs>